What is going on, y'all? It is Gassy. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, today we're going to be telling you how to gain levels on the scoreboard as fast as humanly possible. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, that bell notification icon, and drop us a like. Let's get in here and talk about it, y'all. I would never suggest to do this, but if you'd like to get the scoreboard done on day one, all it's going to take is a little over 14,000 atoms. And if you're looking to get a lot of experience points out there in the Wasteland, friends, you're going to want to run an unyielding armor set. Now, this does come with the caveat that you have to be low health. I'm talking about 19.9 or below. And once you're at that targeted HP range of 19.9 and below, the unyielding effect is going to kick in, which means that your five pieces are going to add a plus three to your stats except for endurance. Personally, for me, I like being a full health junkies build. You can find that video up in the top right hand corner if you're interested. Another great thing that got brought into Fallout 76 is lunch boxes. Now, lunch boxes, my friends, one will give you an extra 25% experience for an hour, but they can stack up to four times for 100% bonus experience for an hour. And make sure to play on a public casual team because a casual team will increase your intelligence. And when the party is full and everybody is linked together, you will get a plus four to your intellect. Now, this next bit that we're going to get into is talking about the foods that you you can eat to increase your intellect and your XP gain. But if you're going to be running mutations, remember to run strange in numbers. Now, starting with herbivore, if you would like to increase your intellect out there in the wasteland, I have two food suggestions for you, friends. Brain bombs will increase your intellect by seven. Now, it's a little bit more of a complex ingredient list over the second one, the brain fungus soup, which will increase your intellect by five, but it's a very simple recipe that should be easy to farm for. And as a herbivore, if you're wanting to make some food that's going to give you a bonus experience buff, then friends, cranberry relish is where you're going to go because there is not a better food out there as a herbivore because you get a 25% bonus experience buff. Now, as a carnivore, I would suggest to you a broiled scorched beast brain, which is going to increase your intellect by seven. And for the bonus experience food to get 25% buff, is going to be tasty squirrel stew now while we're talking about perk cards make sure to be running inspirational maxed out at level three in charisma because when you are on a team you will gain 15 percent more xp now don't forget about the buffs located around the wasteland that's right friends i'm talking about the derby machine that will boost your intellect by two plus sleeping in a bed will get you a five percent xp bonus and this can range from anywhere from one hour to three hours if you see the path to enlightenment pop up in your server as an event make sure to go do that because at the end of the event when you interact with the wise mothman you are going to get a 5% XP bonus for the next hour. Another great resource for intellect and XP is bobbleheads and magazines. Now, if you're going to be running bobbleheads and magazines, make sure to put on curator because the benefits of bobbleheads and magazines last twice as long. Now, just so you know, you cannot stack these two bobbleheads together. You have to choose one or the other. The first one is the leader bobblehead. It will give you a plus 5% XP for one hour unless you use curator, which then takes it from one hour to two hours. The next one is is intelligence bobblehead this one will net your intellect up two points for one hour again unless you use curator and then it goes to two hours and if you're going to be on a team the magazine you're going to want to use is the live in love number eight because it gives you a five percent xp for 30 minutes unless you use curator which then takes that buff to an hour and something that's going to boost your intellect from the aid department is called Berry Mintats. Not only does this raise your intellect by five, but it puts a nice, cool little aura around enemies. And if you're going to be taking a lot of Berry Mintats, remember, friends, to level Kim Fiend all the way up to level three. That way it takes the Berry Mintats from lasting only five minutes up to ten minutes. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope it helps you out. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions or you have any suggestions at all i would love to thank our channel members frugan just jake herb cross blood sebastian nova prophet dreamy udini zach crm jesse blazeman taz i go bud cranberry relish gravy train bay i am mr me not you quinn indy andy petty warfy warren blake coma patrick sweet tea scotty dan chewy brandy nerdy chick diego humdog yegar bond purple days nick alex a little squishy super loki shane frogs bp yanko abstract fire dale that one justin darth stark one low jakey the memes jack lucy mitchell jay 
Alan, Daniel, Wolf, and POTUS. Thank you so much for supporting us out here in the wasteland. Y'all have a great and wonderful day, friends, and we will catch y'all later. Peace, y'all.